I'm Robert Dempsey. I chair the Department of Neurosurgery here at the University of Wisconsin. After several years of being a doctor, I realized that the Latin word for doctor, doctore, is teacher. That's what doctor means. And I realized that I could touch a few thousand patients, but my students could touch hundreds of thousands. And that was the day I became a teacher of doctors. So I very much wanted to practice medicine where I could teach. I came to Wisconsin for that very reason, to teach and influence the way teaching took place. And I don't think that's memorization. I don't think that's big lectures. I think that's influencing people one at a time, small groups, so they will influence people. So which is more devastating? The aneurysm. Okay. Teaching can occur everywhere in a doctor's life. I have opportunity to teach on morning rounds. I have opportunity to teach in the clinic. I have opportunity to teach at the patient bedside. I have opportunity to teach in the preparation for the operating room. The surgery itself might take quite a long time. Some of our craniotomies can take the entire day. During that time, teaching is ongoing. Sometimes I'm speaking about what I'm doing, but sometimes they're watching and seeing with our video monitors. Whereas on a clinic day, I'll be teaching about a broad range of topics because this patient has this problem, this patient has that. And in each case, I'll be able to say, remember those lectures you took for basic science. This is where they're important. This is why you took it. This is where that applies. So rounds can be an opportunity for me to make sense of the first two years of med school. I'm a neurosurgeon. I chair neurosurgery. I train neurosurgeons. But the vast majority, 98% of the students I work with, do not go into neurosurgery. So when I meet a student, I say, what do you want to learn? And they might say they want to learn about brain tumors. Fine, I'll teach you that. But then I say, but I'm going to teach you how to be a doctor, how to talk to people, how to be careful, how to apply what you've learned, because that'll be important no matter what you go into. And I want you to embrace any area of medicine you choose and make it as special for you as neurosurgery is for me. And they teach me. I mean, their computer skills, the way they think about things changes us. Students have always worked hard, medical students. They've always been very dedicated. Modern students are every bit as bright. They have more tools for learning, and they can amass information faster, but they still need people to make sense of it. And that's really my role. When they have this sea of knowledge, someone has to say, this is the important things. This is what the patient needs to know. This is what will be key to your patient's outcome. This is why you check and double check. The days are not smooth. There's intense concern about a patient. There's very, very critical focus at the beginning of a surgery. When it's over and you're talking to the family and you deliver their family member intact, it's the greatest feeling on earth. And I want the students to experience that. I want them to know that this is a profession capable of greatness. Isn't it wonderful? I mean, their life is before them. They've worked very hard. But this is the first time they can really focus it into a profession career. That's a very exciting thing. I tell the dean that you know, the best day of the year is graduation. I see these people, their families are so proud. They've literally grown up before our eyes, and now they are doctors. It's something that society takes pride in, and I'm glad of that. But it's a responsibility we must earn, and that's what I try to teach. So that potential, and that potential to help others is very special.